housebound. Kids out of school for the rest of the year. Mask or no mask? Two people or ten? Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Sixty plus? Don't even think about going outside. Grocery shop or delivery? Support your local restaurant or cook at home? Employed? Essential? Stimulus? The new choices we're having to make today have some folks just cowering in the corner and absolutely flaming on social media. And why do we think that is? The world as we knew it just a month ago has changed the rules. And we know how much we like change. We want it all the way it was, just not so long ago. Come and go as we please, meet our friends and family at will. Take vacations, you know, travel when we've saved up for it and planned for it. Go to baseball, hockey, soccer, basketball games at will. Let our kids go crazy on the playground. Shake hands, hug. All that's off the table right now, and that table better have been Lysol. I think our biggest problem today is our lack of clear data that we can leverage a solid belief off of. Our filters, our knower judges, if you will, can have us accept the information that supports our belief, it's called confirmation bias, while denying opposing views. There are experts out there claiming it's as bad as the plague, and others showing graphs and visuals claiming it's no worse than the common flu. The media war is raging on. Which is more important, 10,000 lives, or 100,000, or a million, or the national economy? At some point, it's over my head and pretty much out of control. So what can I do? I'm not asking that as a rhetorical question. What can I do? I can listen. I can take in all the information, trying my best not to judge, staying out of my knower judger the best I can, and make decisions moment to moment. It's really what all the medical professionals are doing right now. The only data that matters to them is what's happening right in front of them right now. Infected, maybe. Protected, yes. Fortunately, we're not faced with that magnitude of infection. The likelihood that we will be in a vicinity of a COVID-19 positive person in our normal world is statistically small. Some folks watch rallying on social media, and some get in the damn cars and drive like madmen. Life has risk. The decision is ours, and because of the levels of stress, I believe it will be made by our knower judger response characteristics. Normally pessimistic individuals would confirm the worst interpretations and quarantine themselves and their loved ones and tough it out. Overly optimistic individuals will get out and take risks, not only for themselves, but for others they come in contact with. I will not judge either extreme. I will make my decisions in the moment. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.